Hey guys, uh, welcome to Firebird today. It's the 1st of June in Phoenix, Arizona. Today's temp, 106 degrees, and we're working in the garage. And you're like, uh, you're an idiot. It's 106 degrees, like, what, why? Ah, but I have a tip for you to help make and work in your garage this summer, primo easy as we rebuild the 67 Firebird and put in new floors on the 67 Porsche, I got a secret weapon. I'm gonna show you to you right now. Come on, let's go. 110, 109. 110, 109, 111. It's hot in the garage. The Firebird. 104, 105 on that. We just got done taking off the front of the car. 108. Holy crap. Here, wait. Here's the Porsche. It's in direct sunlight. What can we possibly tell? What focus? 150. Can you, can we see that? 150, look at 150 is the temperature here. So uh, how do we uh, work on the uh, Firebird? How do we get stuff done in this kind of weather, you ask? Well, allow me to introduce you to the secret weapon. This bad boy here from the Home Depot, and no, I'm not sponsored by Home Depot. I'm just trying to show you how if you live in the Southwest, there's no humidity and a hundred plus degree temperature. I'm thinking Vegas and LA and Phoenix and whatnot. This bad boy for about 400 bucks from Home Depot, game changer. So when you get this thing, it comes in a box. You're gonna put four wheels on it. You're gonna hook up the connector to the, the uh, water hose. But if you don't have a water hose, then uh, check this out. You pour your water in there, it holds 10 gallons, eh, a couple hours. Otherwise, close. You hook your uh, water hose up to it full time. You have pump control, fan control, and oscillating control. So those fan will do this. So uh, you now know on an afternoon in Phoenix, Arizona, the outside temp is 105. The inside temp in the garage, we just noticed, is 110 in the shade. And of course, the Porsche over there in direct sunlight is 150 degrees. Can, uh, can this thing really cool it down? Let's find out. So we have the water hose hooked up to it. We have the pump on. You want to let that pump run for a good five, ten minutes, and then kick it on. So let's uh, let's just wait. Let's hang out and uh, see what happens. All right, guys. It's been a couple hours since uh, it's been blowing. See you back there. Let's grab our temp gauge and let's kind of see what the temperature around the garage is now. Let's go find out. Let's see what we got here. 98. 97. Okay, and then up here on the wall. 98. That's a huge gain. Alright, let's uh, check the car. So here's the actual unit here. I don't know where you hit it at. 74 in the wearing room. So on the tire, 86, bottom there, 85, the door, 85, check the motor here, 88, 90 up there, 92. Alright, so let's go over here. Let's check the back wall. Let's check the back wall. 
88, nice. Up top, 93 up there, cool. There's the puppy. Check the puppy, check the puppy. She hates this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puppy's about 92. 88 back in this corner, 90, 95. 88 on that fender. 88 there on the core sign. 91 ceiling. 94. Now here's the big test. This is that door. 95 on the door. That's incredible. It's 107, 108 out right now. So when we're working on this car, it's in the 90s, which for Arizona, it's freaking awesome. Let's go take a look at that cooler one more time. Okay, now I do have it on high. The, uh, the, the oscillation is on. Pull this down. See if that helps out any. Pump is on. Kind of get an idea. Of that but even from right here and I'm about six feet away maybe and yeah it, this is comfortable I can handle this so this is the uh, 3100 um, Hessen Air that from Home Depot and it sells for like 375 I guess or so but for me um, this has been amazing to work on a Firebird this summer. And it's only the you know start of June. We have an entire summer to go. As we begin to work on this car, I'm telling you, having that cooler is going to be a game changer for us. All right, guys. So for me, that Hessen Air cooler from Home Depot Totally worth the money, worth the 400 bucks. Gonna keep this garage in Phoenix, Arizona in the summertime cool enough to work on the Firebird the entire summer. We had to pull the motor, rebuild the motor, rebuild the front suspension, pull that subframe out. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm uh, rebuilding a 67 Pontiac Firebird and a 67 Porsche. So if any of those two things are uh, into what you're into, then hit that subscribe button and follow along. So with that guys, this will end this video. Uh, go buy this if you're in the Southwest and need something cool for your garage. This thing is worth every penny. All right, I'll see you next week guys on Firebird Fridays. Talk to you then.